Hi Cancers, this is your January 2018 relationship reading and the first message card that I have for you is let go of stress, okay? Don't take on other people's stress. Breathe it out now. So the message that I'm getting from this card, Cancer, is that your partner may be going through something and you're taking on that stress, okay? So they're stressed out and you're stressed out, okay? And I'm just feeling like you need to release and let it go because this is not your problem, okay? Now, it may sound harsh, but it's really not because this is how you feel. You feel like this is not my issue. Like, why am I taking on someone else's issue? I understand that you love this person, but sometimes you have to let people fight their own battles, okay? Because they'll drag you into something and then it's like you're all screwed up and then they'll let it go <laughs> and thinking like you're going to handle it. I don't know. That's just the message that I'm getting here, but let go of the stress because this is not your issue, Cancers. The next card that I have is decide. It's time to clearly make a decision about what you want. Okay, do you want to stay in this relationship or don't you? Because I'm feeling like for some of you, this is a general reading, so this may not resonate with each and every cancer out there, but I'm feeling like for some of you, you go back and forth daily about whether you want this relationship or not. Okay, because you know, things just aren't the way you want it to be. The next card that I have is relax. Everything's okay. Don't worry. It's all going to be fine. Okay? So I feel like it is, but you just need to decide what you want to do. It's going to be fine as soon as you decide what you want to do, as soon as you make up your mind and not um, waver back and forth. The next card that I have is forgive. It's time to let go of anger or blame. Now this card resonated um, well, I won't say resonated, but I feel like this card um, will be a lot, I don't know how to say this. Okay, I had to breathe in and breathe out. All right, listen, <laughs> I'm just feeling like this card is going to be something for, um, even though this is a general reading, this card is going to be something for a lot of you cancers out there. And the reason why I say that is because I was getting heavy messages around this card that your partner did something to you in the past and you cannot let it go, okay? It's like, you may say you forgive this person, but as soon as, let me just fix my lighting here, okay? As soon as they do something, it's like you, you're bringing it up again, okay? And I'm just feeling like somebody's asking you to forgive them or to let something go, and you can't let it go. But then, on the other hand, like I understand why you can't let it go, okay? Because I'm feeling like for some of you, you can't let it go because this person won't get right. Like, they got to get right in order for you to let this go. So, you can't let go what they did to you before if they're still doing the same shit. Like, you can't. It's not possible. Like, you're wanting me to forgive you for something you did in the past, but then you do it again. And I don't know whose message this is, but it just came to me, and I'm telling you, like, it's really strong. So, I'm feeling like it's like a lot of people out there that are going through, you know, this. Like, you, you want to forgive somebody, and you want to let something go from your past. You don't want to keep dragging it on because it's actually hurting you as well. But you can't seem to get past it because this person is still being a fool or they're still being dumb. Like, they're not getting it. But this card is telling you, Cancers, to forgive it's time to let go of anger or blame. And I'm feeling like when you do this, this may help you move forward. Okay? Wow, that was a lot. I couldn't even get that out. Oof. Okay. So let's get into your reading. First card that I have for you, Cancers, is the Two of Coins. Okay? So you're juggling something or someone or feelings or something. It's like you cannot make up your mind what you want to do. Okay, um, some of you could be dealing with an earth sign, a Virgo, Taurus, or a Capricorn, but if not, these are just your feelings. Okay, with the Two of Coins, um, which is also the Two of Pentacles in the original tarot deck, you can't seem to make up your mind what you want to do. And I'm feeling like you can't seem to make up your mind about what you want to do is because one minute this person, when I say this person, I mean your partner, is acting like they should, and then the next minute they're not. They're off doing their own damn thing. And this is why you can't make up your mind. Like, you can't be stable if the situation is not stable. It's like they want you to be stable, but they want to be all over the place. And that's just not going to work. Okay? Next card that I have is the Ten of Wands. This is like a huge burden for you. You're really feeling this. It's really bringing you down and you're tired of it. And some of you could be dealing with the fire sign, an Aries, Leo, or a Sagittarius. 
the next word that I have for you is the five of wands you're tired of fighting you're feeling like this is a battle that you're not gonna win okay you're tired of going back and forth with this partner about the same thing I'm just feeling like for some of you you've been going back and forth with someone for quite some time I mean like years and when I say years I mean like over five and you're just like oh my god like damn it I'm tired like what are you gonna do either you're gonna act right or you're not like I'm you're so sick of it and if this is not you feeling this way cancers this could be your partner feeling this way and I'm just feeling like a lot of you are dealing with an um, air, I mean, I'm sorry, a fire sign because there's a lot of wands in this reading because this is the two of wands. Like you're waiting for someone to get their self together. You're like, please, you've been begging. I feel like for some of you, you're begging this person. And this is not you, Cancers, that's feeling this way. And this may be your partner that's feeling this way about you. Somebody is begging somebody to get their life right. Okay, and it's like, please get your life right because I would hate to leave you because I really love you. But if you're not going to act right, then I, I have to go. Yeah, see, the next card that I have is a hermit. Um, some of you may be dealing with a Virgo, but if not, it's like you're turn you're ready to turn your back on this person, or somebody has turned their back. Either you've turned your back, Cancer, on your partner, or your partner has turned their back on you. Okay, somebody is isolating themselves, they're not wanting to be bothered. Because they're feeling like the situation is just never going to change. The next card that I have is the Eight of Cups and it's in the reverse. So it's like someone walked away, but it's temporary. They will be back, okay? If someone walked away from you, Cancers, or if you walked away from someone else, you've needed that time and you needed that space, okay? Um, but I just see it as being a temporary situation. And some of you could be dealing with the water sign, such as yourself, another Cancer, or a Pisces, or a Scorpio. Yeah, see, we have the moon card here, which is the Pisces card. So it's like this person, you're feeling like they're all an illusion. You feel like, you know, they tell you that they're going to do one thing and then you don't see them doing anything. And you're like, how can I possibly believe you? How can I believe anything that you say when your actions just don't show it? You know, I'm just feeling like this person is so, um, let's see, what can I say? So I don't want to say... I just see them as being a liar. They're like deceitful. Like It's like you can't trust anything they say or do. But you're working really hard on this relationship because you have the three of coins here. So you are putting in the work. But you're feeling to yourself like how long am I going to keep putting in work and, and not seeing a change? It's like, you know, it's getting like old now. The next card that I have is the eight of swords. Okay, so some of you could be dealing with an air sign, a Libra, a Gemini, or an Aquarius, okay? And this is how you feel. You feel restricted. You feel blind, like you don't know where the situation is going. It's like you're in a relationship and you don't even know where it's headed. You're like, what are we doing here? Are we, um, are we leaving each other alone? Are we walking away from the situation? Are we taking a time out? It's like, you don't know what the heck is going on. Yeah, so you have the hangman. So you're like hung in suspense. Somebody is just hung in suspense. Somebody is like saying to this, I don't know, this may be you, Cancers. Like, you're just saying to yourself, like, I don't even know what the hell is going on here, but I don't want to walk away. You're not ready to walk away from this person, but I'm feeling like you done crawled into a shell, okay? Like most Cancers do when they're pissed off, they will crawl into their, their own little bubble, okay and you know they get really sensitive they get really emotional and you just try to deal with your problems by yourself okay yeah see we have the nine of swords here so this is how someone is feeling someone is feeling sad they're feeling lonely they're feeling depressed they're feeling angry and it's like they're they're, they're dealing with all of the emotions at once but they're dealing with it by themselves the next card that I have is the High Priestess Cancer. So trust your intuition, okay? Because it's trying to tell you something. I have the Lover's card here, okay? So some of you could be dealing with the Gemini. And you really love this person. Like, you really want it to work. And I'm feeling like they love you too. But they just can't get their shit together. Like, I don't know what's wrong. Like, you know, they can't get themselves together. Either they're trying and it's just not working out. Or they're not trying at all. And they're just telling you they're trying. Next card that I have is a judgment card. So you're going to be giving someone a second chance. So if someone walked away from you, Cancers, they're going to be coming back and you're going to be giving them a second chance. You're going to try to work this out, okay? Next card that I have is a seven of swords. So you feel like somebody is being sneaky, okay? And you're going to be standing your ground with them because you have the seven of wands here, okay? 
and then you have the nine of coins. So you're going to be standing your ground with someone, and you're going to you're going to start to make yourself happy. You're going to be like, listen, I can't do this anymore. I can't worry about you. I have to worry about myself because it just feel like you're falling apart at the seams, and you're like, no, I cannot let myself fall apart because you have some craziness going on in your life. Okay, so those are the messages that I have for you, um, Cancers, for January 2018 relationship reading. I just want to say thank you for coming to my channel and watching my videos. For everyone that's gotten a private reading, thank you for supporting my um, channel. And I will see you next month. Bye.